How long is a trip to the moon? To get to the moon, it takes sort of three to five days. Uh, and then it depends how much time you're going to be spending on the moon. So a trip to the moon might be sort of a month and a half, something like that. If you had a bedside table in space, what would you put on it? Mm, well, I would have to strap it down very well <laughs> because obviously things fly around in space. But I would definitely take my knitted penguin. She's called Pengaroo. What kind of food do you eat in space? The thing is, Things that you take to space need to be as light as possible and take up as little as space as, po as possible. So what you do is you dehydrate the food. You get rid of all the water that's inside it. So what you have to do is put the water back in and maybe heat it up when you're up there in space. But then the kinds of things you eat might be normal meals. Um, they've had pizzas in space before, sometimes ice cream, and astronauts are really always very excited when the fresh fruit arrives on the station. If you could take any TV character to space, who would it be? Well, I think um, Buzz Lightyear has a lot of experience, so I'd probably have to take him. How long does it take to put your spacesuit on and is it comfortable? It takes quite a long time to put a spacesuit on. You need people helping you out to, to get into it. And then you have to spend a long time uh, pressurising it, so putting the, the air inside the suit that you're going to use. It takes several hours to prepare for, for a spacewalk. Uh, and they're not especially comfortable. They're extremely heavy, but of course, if you're in space, you're not feeling that they're that heavy because you're weightless. Can you boil a kettle and make tea in space? It would theoretically be possible, uh, but they don't have kettles per se on the International Space Station. They just have a special machine that, that, has, that heats up the water for you. How long would you have to train for if you wanted to become an astronaut? Training really depends on what mission you have. All astronauts go through basic training, which takes about a year. Then depending on the mission, you'll have specific training for the kind of experiments that you're going to be running. If you're going to be doing a spacewalk, you'll spend a lot of time in the pool. So it can take anywhere from about a year up to about four years. What advice would you give me if I wanted to become an astronaut one day? So my advice is to do something that you really enjoy doing because you have to be at the top of your game in whatever you're doing in your life to be selected as an astronaut. And if you are doing something that you really enjoy, then becoming an astronaut is just a bonus. And if you don't, well, you can try again in the future, but you're already doing something that you love. Complete your space badge now.